Hey everyone, it's Gianna. The video that I'm making today is about my trip to Greece with EF College Break. I'm gonna tell you the whole story of how I got there and what Greece was like and how amazing the trip was. If you guys aren't familiar, EF College Break is a site that you can go on and they have a bunch of different trips to pick from and you can decide what you wanna do and then you pay for it all. They do everything for you, like flights, hostels, hotels, excursions, things so you don't have to worry about doing anything when you're going abroad. And then you're with a group of other college kids. You have a tour guide who is, ours was local. So I heard about it when I was in my Walt Disney World college program from a friend who had done it. And she did like an Italy trip and she said it was the best thing ever, that she would do it again if she could. It's June of last year and I have a whole trip to Alani booked in August and it's like a five day trip. I have my flights and everything with my boyfriend at the time. I was so excited because I've never been, I still have not been. My ex dumped me and I was like, oh my gosh, both of our money like is sunk into this. What are we gonna do? So I waited a little while after the breakup and I'm like, okay, well, I'm still going on a trip. So I'm gonna go to Alani. So I'm trying to find friends who are like down to go to Alani and everybody's like, it's how many? hundreds of dollars for a plane ticket to Hawaii. Okay, I get nobody else is gonna come anywhere with me right now. It's like too short notice to get anybody else on board. I'm gonna have to go somewhere by myself, which was kind of freaky. In my head at the time, I didn't really wanna do it, but I did wanna do it. So I had to try and figure out something. So that's why EF College Break was perfect for me because I was going alone, but once I got there, I was gonna be with other kids my age. I canceled all of Alani, I called United, I got a flight credit for my flight to Hawaii and I put it all towards a trip to Greece. And I went to go book it and the guy was like, you know, this is in like three weeks, right? And I'm like, yes, book me on that flight, boy. I did it, I paid for it and I'm like, okay, I'm solo going to Greece. Like, it's gonna be cool, it's gonna be great. My ex ended up texting me like a week before the trip and was like, do you still wanna go to Hawaii together as friends? And I was like, <laughs> no. <laughs> but thanks like for offering. <laughs> I was having like a little bit of travel anxiety. I usually don't because everything had just happened. I had just been dumped. I was like freshly single out in the world. I like had moved home from Florida to Chicago in this like short span of time, all these things were happening. And then I was like, okay, going somewhere I've never been before with nobody I know. And it's an 11 hour flight. Days leading up to it, I'm like, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not going. I told my mom, I'm like, I can't go. And she's like, well, you're gonna lose all your money. Okay, so like money, sanity, I don't know what to do. And the day came and I just went to the airport. We'll just see what happens. I flew from Chicago to New Jersey and the whole way there I cried the entire time. I landed in New Jersey and I had a three hour layover and I'm like, I'm not going. I called everybody I knew in those, those three hours and I was like, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do. I cry a lot as you can tell from my past videos. Just kept thinking like when I get on that plane, when the door shut, I'm stuck and I'm going to Greece. No matter what happens, I can't jump out the plane. My mom had given me whatever her doctor had given her when she went on a flight, because my mom is a very nervous person. Like, mom, I'm coming home. I'm not gonna go to Greece. I'm not gonna go. She's like, listen, you're gonna be fine. Everything's fine. People don't get this opportunity in their lifetimes to do what you're doing right now. You gotta go. And I don't know what the final thing was that made me get on the plane. I gotta do it, because I can't lose this money. I got on the plane, I took the medicine, and I like tried to fall asleep really hard. We're about an hour into the flight and I wake up and I'm like, oh my God, I don't feel good. Oh, gonna be sick. I kept pushing the um, flight attendant button and nobody was coming. So I get up and I'm running down the aisle as fast as I can. I get to the back and I'm like, I'm gonna, and I just barfed everywhere. The ladies in the back were like, oh my gosh, we're so sorry, we're so sorry, we get you a blank. We're getting, like, I need to go home. I got Wi-Fi on the flight. I kept texting my mom being like, this was a mistake. And like, meanwhile, I have nine hours ahead of me on this plane. The people next to me were like, who is this girl that smells like barf by us? Like, we're over her. She's canceled. Just wanted to like shrink up into a little ball and disappear. So my trip that I thought was just gonna be like, independent woman, like getting a girl, like doing her own thing. It was turning into like such a disaster already and I hadn't even gone, but it was mostly like my fault. I'm on the plane and I look in the Facebook group because EF College Break has a Facebook group of all of the kids you're going with on the trip. So this girl, Lori, was also flying out of 
the same airport as me. And I messaged her and I was like, I'm having some serious second thoughts. Like, and she's like, me too. I don't want to go. I don't know why I'm doing this. Like, why did I book this trip? And she's freaking out and I'm, I'm freaking out. And then we're like, listen, okay, we need to stop. This is going to be amazing. We like totally helped each other out of it. And we were like, we're going to stick together the whole time. We're going to be by each other's sides and it's gonna be fine. So then I had another friend who was also like apprehensive, so I felt better. Oh, I land in Greece. We meet up with some of the other kids. Our tour guide, Irini, who was literally a saint. She was amazing. We flew into Athens first and we got there on August 7th. My birthday was August 8th, so it was kind of like a birthday trip. It was my 21st birthday. So I'm like, ooh, gonna be in Greece for my 21st birthday, gonna party it up. It was 11 days in the Greek islands and you fly into Athens and then you go to Santorini, Paros, and Mykonos. And then you fly back to Athens and then you go home. So it's a long trip and you get to do so much stuff. We kind of met up with everybody and we took buses to our first hotel. And there was a little like welcome mixer on a rooftop and it was like beautiful and you could see all of Athens. And we got to eat with everybody and everybody was really, really, really cool. So there was like 30 of us, I think all girls and then there were two three boys it was really amazing and as soon as I had my first Greek salad I'm like this is where I need to be mind you I was still very jet-lagged pretty sick and kind of upset from like all of the day's events that night we get to the hotel and Irini who is our tour guide she splits us up into groups because none of us know each other and we each take rooms so the first night I was with three girls we all had our own space and we bonded we went to bed and I woke up on my birthday and I was sick as hell. Like I had messed myself up the day before. I don't know if it was the medicine. I don't know what it was. And they were like, everybody get in the bus. We're gonna go see where the first Olympic games were held. I had literally a target bag. Like the handles were around my ears and I was just throwing up and throwing up. And poor Lori, this girl that I was talking to on Facebook, she had to endure so much that first day. I couldn't get out of the bus. Like we got there and they're like, everybody go explore, take pictures. And I'm like in the bus, just like vomiting. And she got off the bus and she got me a blue Gatorade. I'm so thankful to have you right now. That night we went to a restaurant where we got to like break plates on the ground. Everybody sang happy birthday to me. And then Irini, our tour guide, bought me an evil eye, like really cool glass blown. It was very, very nice of her to do. So I had a really good birthday, even though I literally didn't have one sip of alcohol. First day as well, as I started hanging out with Lori more, we became closer friends. And then for the next nights, you get to decide your roommate every night. So me and Lori were like, okay, this is it. Like we're together on this. The next day we flew to Santorini, which was our first island that we went to. I met a girl on the trip named Kat who was entertainment in Disneyland. And I was like, you're my girl, you're my person. Like this is it. So we had a lot to talk about. We had a lot in common, which was cool. So she ended up being one of our roommates as well. We flew to Santorini and there were so many beaches. It was so beautiful. I actually have a montage video of this whole trip that I'm gonna post as a separate video. There was this amazing black sand beach that was right by our hotel that we got to go to. There was free time for us as well, which was cool. So like we did things organized together, but then we also got to go off and do things by ourselves like a lot of the time. We got to go to the highest point of the island. So we were on this bus and literally the roads are this big. They're just enough so like the wheels on the bus can like fit on the road and we rode all the way up when we got to the top he had to do a backup maneuver and arini was like everybody on the bus you need to be extremely quiet because like if one thing goes wrong we'll literally go like tumbling down this cliff that was the highest point of the island and all of us were like okay we're gonna die we all just like held hands and squeezed so tight he did his thing and it was fine but we got to get out on the top of the island and look around and it was beautiful you could see everything from up there there's ocean every which way i mean obviously it's an island but it was really insane the water in greece is crystal clear you can see to the bottom of the ocean which is insane i've never seen anything like that before everybody before i left was like the ocean's so blue and i'm like okay yeah for sure it like literally was like baja blast it was so pretty there were also excursions that were like extra that you could pay for and there was one that was a wine tasting in the side of a cliff and i did that one so did everybody and we went to this wine tasting and these like cute Greek men came out with us wine and we were like living our bougiest lives. And so the island is where like, it's very picturesque, all those blue top buildings are. And we got to see like a famous sunset over the blue top buildings. So at night, Irini would like set us free and all of us would like go out to the clubs and get crazy. There were always 
scary Italian men everywhere. Like not cute ones, like just scary Italian men everywhere. I didn't drink that much because I was in like a foreign place. The girls that I was with were like, mm, yeah, I don't know if that's safe. We have to figure out how to get home by ourselves. We don't have phones, obviously, because we're abroad. After Santorini, we took a boat to Peros and it was a huge boat. We were all on it, we were all excited. The waves were really bad that day, so our, our boat kept getting delayed. All of a sudden, like, I'm kind of falling asleep and I wake up to the girl next to me, like, grabbing onto me. And I'm like, what is going on? And the boat, we were facing out the front window, was going up, smashing down so hard that the waves were running over the boat. Things were flying off shelves, people were holding onto each other and, like, praying. It was like the Titanic. I was looking around, this can't be real. I was writing out my will and my notes on my iPhone. Okay, so when I go, because I literally was like, okay, we're dying. We are definitely dying now. And I was texting my mom, I love you so much in case I don't make it, using my data. I don't think I'm going to, so like, just so you know, you've been a great mom, love you so much. Everybody was crying, it was really dramatic, but we made it to the island, we were safe. When we were in, Peros, we did a boat cruise. So it was like an all day thing. We went from nine in the morning to five. We just drank all day on the boat. We got to go around to all these different like sandbars and stuff and just jump off the boat, which was so cool because I'm not very daring. I don't really do stuff like that. So we get to this one sandbar and I'm like, oh, there's this giant cliff right here and it looks kind of climbable. Like, why don't we just do it? And everybody was like, what? Why? And I'm like, no, we're gonna do it. So I like all of a sudden get so brave. I dive off the boat. I'm like, here we go and I climb up this giant cliff. From the boat, it didn't look that bad. And then I'm like, I can't bitch out because I just did all this and now everybody's watching me. And I really had to breathe a lot before going down and I really had to clear my mind. I jumped and I was the first one to go out of everybody and it was so exhilarating. <laughs> if I couldn't see the bottom of the ocean, I would not have jumped. But then other people started going after me and some of the girls landed wrong. It got like huge bruises on their whole legs and stuff, it was, it was, crazy. The like Greek man driving the boat made us this whole Greek feast with like all these different kinds of breads and hummus and tzatziki and feta and everything. It was, it was like my dream. I was in the sun eating my Greek food, beautiful ocean. And at this point we had made like really close friends. It was like a group of five of us on the trip and we were doing everything together. I have in my notes here, blue ass water dash falafel, which is really everything you need to know if you had to sum up the trip in a whole, like that's it. Last island we went to was Mykonos and we took another boat there. It was called Paradise Beach where we went and it was a wild party. They were all kids our age and a lot of them were American. When we got there, there was a toga party going on. Everyone was wasted. It was like eight in the morning. I'm like, okay, this is what we're doing here. And it's like a very touristy place. So everything was really expensive. We went to go get lunch and the girl across from me, I will literally gag telling this story every time. The girl across from me got pasta and I'm like looking at what she's eating, a maggot crawls out of it. And I'm like, girl, there's legit a maggot crawling out of your pasta right now. And I did not eat the rest of the time on that island because I was sick to my stomach. Second night we went out to a club. <laughs> there were a bunch of really scary dudes there. So we were like trying to drink and have a good time, but we were all also trying to protect each other and like fight off these gross dudes who kept like just invading our space at all times. And then the two boys that were with us were like fending off all of these scary dudes, but there was, you know, like 30 girls. So they could only do so much. Mykonos all in all probably wouldn't go back. I liked the other islands better just because it was more taking in the scenery and looking at all these beautiful things. I care about like the food aspect of it all because I think that's what like brings the culture together. You know what I mean? It brings, the food brings you together. Well, after Mykonos, we flew back to Athens and we had a farewell dinner. It was sad, but I was so ready to go home. I don't know. I think it was because the, the trip got off to such a bad start. I had so much fun when I was there. I know that makes me sound bougie, like I was so over Greece, ready to come home. But I just did this like whole crazy thing by myself and I was just like ready to be back. Okay, I will post the video of my montage of Greece in a separate video. All in all, I would totally do EF College Break again. It's just so convenient to not have to plan anything. Somebody else do all of the work for you. It's just so much more relaxing that way and you can actually have like a real vacation. Plus you also get to make a lot of friends. You get to stay in places that you probably wouldn't have otherwise. And you get to see things through the eyes of a local. I guess I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit about that because I thought it was a really cool trip. 
and I really wanted to show you that the montage. Happy Teen G Tuesday. I will see you guys next week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.